On my way home, Ruth, who dog sits and house sits for me, I called her and I said, would you be interested in making a little cash? Like, could you just launder everything from the tour bus and wash all the kitchen stuff and organize it into like toiletries slash bathroom slash linens and bedding and kitchen and office. And then when I get home, I can just pack it up because it's got to go to storage until January when we put it right back on the bus. Same bus. Same bus, but the bus is being leased between now oh. and January. So I had to empty it. And it was a sty. I, I mean, only five imagine. men had been living on this bus. It was awful. I walked in the door and was like, oh, my God. Now, Ron, the driver, cleaned the bathroom. I was going to say, you, you almost feel like you need a cleaning service with every city he goes into to go in and clean the bus. Yeah. Well, Ron cleans the bathrooms and washes the sheets. And all the linens. But there's like, you know, flossers, as you can imagine, <laughs> all over there the floor. Yeah. There's wrappers. There's price tags from clothing. There's hats. Every Literally, there's two couches. Nowhere to sit. Like, it was just covered with like potato chips and Whoa. last night's dinner in the takeout Whoa. container sitting out on the couch and you know somebody's dirty underwear. I was. It was literally like walking into a dorm room of all guys. So... I was like six and a half hours later, everything's in the truck. I get here. And I, I last night when I got home from bingo, Ruth had done everything I asked her. It was Aww, awesome. That's so, great. Nice. so I was able to just put everything in the buckets to go into storage. And we loaded it into the truck. I completely broke down all my bingo. And once I started, I went, I'm not going to bed until all of this is clean and put away. And by the way, Saturday's my laundry day at house. And I was gone all day Saturday, Sunday. And I was like, and I'm doing all my fucking laundry. I'm doing all of it. So once I start Monday, it's just like I was home Saturday. So I went to bed, shockingly, at 1030, which was well, not pretty. Terrible. No, it's not terrible. I slept like the dead. I didn't know I was even on the planet. But I got everything done. I couldn't believe I got everything done. That's insane. Yeah, so that's great. I know I was telling Bert about it today. And he was like, that's great. That's great. You're a gangster. So did you see that new video I put up? I was like, you asshole. I, that was a big deal. Like in 48 hours, I did more than most people do in a week. That is so Come true. On. Yeah, but that, that, that most video. most should do in a week. Right, right. Frankly. I was just, you know, I'm, we're leaving for Cleveland on Wednesday morning. So I couldn't have this bleed over, you know, through the week. How long are you in Cleveland for? Till the Monday. So Wednesday to Monday. Mon and then what day is the show that's being recorded? Saturday and Sunday. Two shows Saturday, two shows Sunday. But he has, I think, two shows Thursday, two shows Friday also. Are you staying downtown? I have no idea. Oh, you have to tell me where you're staying. We're staying close to the venue. Okay. Um, What's the name of the venue again? I think it's the Agora. Okay. I'll I don't know. I don't know. I've been to Cleveland once. Yeah. It, I drove through there on, the, on my way moving from New York to here and stayed overnight and went to... Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Uh -huh. Yep. And uh, walked around that area a little bit. I don't even know what part of town that is. It's called like at the Flats area downtown. Yeah, that yeah. sounds right. Yeah. Um, And it was so nice. It was so clean. It was a really pretty city. Yes. I love Cleveland. Oh, uh, you grew up, you grew up there, grew right? up there. Yeah. yeah. I love it. It's a great city. Bert loves it too. He loves it. Good um, people. They're good laughers. Yes. Well, it's one of his <laughs> top markets. His like top national market is DC, which is so odd. Oh, it's funny. And then I think Cleveland is up like in the top three or something, five. It's a really strong market. Cleveland, Cincinnati. Yeah. You know, Ohio in general. So, so anyway, I just needed today to start like any other Monday because I got to get ready to go to Cleveland yeah. for five days yeah. and, you know, get my... Dogs. He's doing laundry on Saturday. You're not going to be here. <laughs> I, well, I won't need it, right? Yeah. I'll have to do it next week when we're Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't want all this to bleed over. And all of a sudden at Thanksgiving, I have tour bus and two weeks of laundry and bingo shit all over my house. So I was like, I can't start Thanksgiving week like that. I got to I gotta clean the slate. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys because uh, this is one of my favorite times of year. Is it yours? Definitely mine. The yeah. time between Halloween... And New Year's is for far and away my favorite time of year. Is it? Yes, for yes. sure. Yeah. Kathy, you? 
No, not necessarily. <laughs> no. <laughs> what is your favorite time of year? No, I no summer. Please, Ew. I like need oh. heat all the time. Yeah. I do not enjoy it getting dark or whatever. And you know what? I do like the holidays, but I find it very stressful. Yeah. Um. Me too. Like I mean, it it's hectic. annoys me. Like, why is there Christmas shit out the day of Halloween? Because it makes me happy. No, <laughs> it's too you should have seen my daughter's no. bedroom. The weekend is after the, Halloween. Thanksgiving is when it starts. She, then I'm cool. I'm we down had with everything all of it. In our attic and she brought everything. No. So her room has its own decorations. Oh. She has special lights, a wreath that's it's like this fur wreath that has ornaments that she hangs on one of her walls, bedding, um, a little mini Christmas tree, garland, these little ball garland things. And it was all up the weekend after Thanksgiving. That's awesome. And we both are obsessed with Halloween. Yet. After I mean, Halloween. I mean, after Halloween. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Um, wow. And uh, we have, we love the like Bath and Body Works. I swear to God makes a million off of my family because my daughter and I go by like 50 of the holiday scented candles Yeah, because I'm so scared they're going to run out of our favorite scents and we burn them every day, all day. Yeah. So they don't last that long. Yeah. And I, I swear we've already been through like six. How funny. Yeah. We burn wow, them all the time. crazy. I love those candles. Me they, too. They make Bath and Body Works makes the no. best holiday candles. Yes, the they do. Best. Yes. They smell great. So good. I know. It's well, the tis the season scent. That's the best. It's a red candle, season? and it says tis the season. Okay. Far and away the best, but they do run out of it. Well, they run out of everything that's good. I, know. Yeah. I love those that's shower true. fizzies they make. Mm -hmm. They're constantly out of one flavor, yeah. and I'll go in like needing one the one flavor they don't have. But um, my family always put the tree up the day after Thanksgiving. And then it came down before New Year's Day. It had to come down before Do New Year's Day. Do you have a real tree or a false tree? We have a fake tree because Bert is asthmatic. Ah. We had a real tree. He kept going, nope, I just can't give it up. I got to have a real tree. And he was miserable. Yeah. And finally, we were still in the apartment. So Isla had to be probably three. I was like, I'm done. We are going to Costco. And we are buying a pre-lit, nine-foot, <laughs> nice tree. Yeah. And we still use the same tree. It's got to be. 12 years old That's or something. Amazing. That's funny. But we just switched two years ago for that very reason. Yeah. Stephen would not give it up. Yes, he would die. Yeah. Like we couldn't, we never put it up that early just because he would die. Yeah. He was like, even for two weeks, he was miserable. And I was like, this is so dumb. It well, the is one stupid, benefit yeah. of just having to go get a fake one. A, fa yeah. a false tree is that you, it can stay up longer. Like you don't have to worry about it dying and watering it. Yeah. But I definitely, we go, we have a real tree. So I have to like time it perfectly so yeah. that I, it still it doesn't dry out yeah. during that time. And I'm like meticulous about watering it and making sure that it stays. I mean, last year, my tree was so good. And it was like still drinking a whole thing of water after New Year's. And I felt bad taking it down because I was like, it's still alive. Yeah. But, you know, it had to. You got to get it down for New Year's though. No, I don't do. I usually do year like this year. I usually do like January. Well, we're gone this year, 12, the 28th through the 4th. So it's going to have to stay up until I get back. Where are you going? Utah. Oh, you skiing? Yeah, skiing. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do you guys ski? Um, yeah. I mean, um, Darren and Elijah are much better skiers. I, I don't love it and it's expensive and it's just so much work. I'd rather like have a drink and sit by a fire and read a magazine. Yeah. So I ski like half the days that they ski. Ah, uh, I love to ski. You do? Yeah. Yeah. My son and husband absolutely love skiing and Sasha likes it. Yeah. She doesn't love it, but she'll go every day. Yeah. I love to ski. We've been going to Park City. For the past two years, and our schedule doesn't allow it this year because oh. of school schedules conflicting and Bert's schedule. Like we can't, we can't get everybody free on the same, even like three days in a row. So I'm kind of uh -huh. bummed because yeah. I really like to snow ski. I've been snow skiing. My dad taught me how to snow ski when I was in high school. My dad was a really good snow skier, believe it or not, from Georgia. But he would come out here to New Mexico and ski Taos and Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. And he was like, black diamond, double black diamond, moguls, my little skinny little redneck daddy <laughs> skiing in blue jeans. <laughs> Those blacks. That's He's just hilarious. bumping down in his Levi's. <laughs> it's so cute. So, yeah. Yeah. I love to snow ski, but not this year. Bummer. You, you guys don't ski, do you, Kathy? Uh, Stephen and I do. The kids have never gone. They keep asking to go, but it's the same kind of thing. Like, when do we fit it in? Yeah. Um, we have to try and figure that out because I love it. I would love to go. Should go for yeah. um, spring break to Mammoth. Mammoth spring has snow till July. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess that's probably true. Yeah, so someone nicer to ski in April. <laughs> yes, it's much nicer it's to ski in April. Warmer, yeah. That's when my dad and I would go. Yeah, We'd great. go and we could ski in like shirt sleeves. Yeah. yeah. And blue jeans, clearly. Yeah. Blue jeans. <laughs> yeah.
I mean, growing up in Cleveland too, like I I don't miss the 10,000 layers and freezing outside and coming in and being boiling and, but I I do like being in the snow because we don't get to be around it a lot. So I'm looking forward to it. So Christmas. Yeah. Anything special you do for Christmas? We do. Yeah. What What do you do? So, I mean, I, growing up, it was just like, that was always the happiest time in my life. So I always, I actually like Christmas Eve more than I like Christmas Day. Yeah. Because I just like the anticipation. Yeah. I think the anticipation is like a lot more fun than the actual day. Because uh-huh. then the day happens and everyone opens their presents so fast and you have breakfast and then you're like. And it's over. It's over. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> this thing you've been waiting weeks for uh-huh. is done. So Christmas Eve, I just love the excitement and the energy. So growing up, it was always a really, really fun we would like always go to, it was like very traditional, like go to someone's house. We all sang, I grew up in Shaker Heights. So we'd go, always would be snowy usually. And we'd go to someone's house and sing Christmas carols. And then we were allowed to open one present when we got home. And like, you know, you believed in Santa. So you were like, you know, like gotta go to bed, gotta go to bed or he won't come. It was just so fun. But then I couldn't sleep all night. Uh, And we'd wake our parents up at 4am and they'd make us go back to bed. Um, (laughs) So we have a family who lives across the street from us who, since our kids were like three and five years old, um, have been coming over on Christmas Eve and we, the dad always does the meat. I do all the sides. Um, yeah. and we have a huge dinner and we do the poppers and the whole thing. And we track Santa on, um, <laughs> we, it was so funny cause you know, we're always drinking too. And so there's two different Santa trackers. I think there's NORAD and then there's like Google maps Yeah, and we watch them both. And then wherever Santa's further away, we go with that one because we, like we're a lot of times we're not ready to like have our night right, over. Right. And when the kids were little, they'd be like, he's almost here. We have to go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'd be like, how did he get her from Greenland so fast? That's crazy. Slow down, Santa. Right? That's funny. <laughs> but That's funny. now the kids are older, so it's not as much of an issue, but we still do track. It's fun. And the kids would always watch Polar Express and we would all just hang out. And um, I give, uh, I always give them all matching jammies. <laughs> Oh, that's Which again, cute. as they get older, is getting harder and harder. Pajama gram. Um, to do well now they're not matching, but I do a theme. Like I'll do like certain like a theme, and then I give them cute Christmas socks, and then the mom Sherry from the um other houses gives them all they get Christmas hats. <laughs> oh, how funny! <laughs> so they wear their pajamas and they love it. And we also go for our neighborhood has insane lights. Like people really do yeah. beautiful lights. So we always go. It's really funny because it'll just be Sherry and I and the kids. <laughs> And we always walk around the neighborhood with a drink and look at all the lights. And this is like before dinner. And you see a lot of other people out walking, looking at the lights too. And for years, I've always said to Sherry that like there's all these people who you never see all year long. But on Christmas Eve, they we run into them and we it's her and I with these, you know, four children. And they're probably like, oh, look, it's that nice lesbian couple again who always go out on Christmas Eve. <laughs> they only come out on Christmas Eve. Oh, they're Day. so sweet with their four kids. That's, That's so cute. So funny. <laughs> because the guys never come and it's always just her and I and they're probably like oh it's such a nice family oh that's funny (laughs) cute lesbian couple and their children yeah so we always go out look at the lights it's just I love Christmas Eve and I do like Christmas morning and stuff but Christmas Eve for me is definitely I love I just it's like I joked with someone when you're pregnant I said it's I being pregnant is awesome because it's like Christmas Eve every day because yeah. you have this like really great anticipation of what's to come. Yeah. And then the baby comes and you're like, oh, I don't get to sleep anymore yeah. and I'm cleaning diapers. But the anticipation of it is so fun. You know? Yeah. So that's like, I just joke that, you know, being pregnant is like Christmas Eve every day. That's cool. Yeah. That's a good, that sounds like a really sweet, very good Christmas Eve. Yeah. I love fun. Christmas Eve. Yeah. That's what about awesome. you, Kathy? Um, we... Yeah, we have more traditions for Hanukkah, actually, than for Christmas. But for Christmas Day, Stephen is really adamant about it not being chaotic and, like, the anticipation being over. He also loves that so much. Yeah. Um, so he and I actually, I guess, have a tradition Christmas Eve where he want, he doesn't buy anything. He's not involved with any of that, but he wants to help wrap. So after we're done with our Christmas Eve, we go home and we wrap until like 2 a.m. or whatever, like while we're still drinking wine. Yeah. Um, and that's our little thing. And then in the morning, he's super... 
I don't want to say strict, but our morning is super chill. Like we get up and we have, we always have hot apple cider and the kids open their stockings and whatnot. And then we stop and have breakfast and then we go back and like open the tree I and it's just it super, down. it's really slow. It takes, you know, and Stephen is also like, not everybody opens everything at once. Mm-hmm, right. Like you're going to open one and we're going to chill and watch and appreciate what you get and see and whatnot. Right. And then we move on. Although it's not that rigid, you yeah. know what I mean? Like people yeah. take turns, but you know, it's really really just relaxed and hopefully it instills a little bit of appreciation in our children. Not right. quite sure about that yet. I'm hoping. It does. Um, I think it honey? does. What are your Hanukkah but traditions? Yeah. The donut party. Donut party for sure. Uh, yes. What is the donut party? <laughs> I, oh, yeah. I mean, we know what the donut party is. What is the donut party? Donut party? It's so, awesome, by the way. <laughs> yeah. An intense work. I don't know how you guys do it's that. It's so fun. It's so fun. Um, so... Uh, you know, obviously being from an interfaith family on the East Coast, donuts is not really a big thing for Hanukkah, or at least not in my world. It was mm-hmm. always just about latkes. But essentially, uh, any food that's fried is goes over really well in Hanukkah. Um, <laughs> but when we moved to the West Coast, everybody was talking about donuts, like jelly donuts for Hanukkah. So, and I was like, the or yeah. they're, they're the little, they're delicious. Yeah, they're like little what round uh, je- sufganiyot is what it's called. Sufganiyot. Yeah, I it's think that's how you pronounce donut it. donut yeah. for Hanukkah. Hanukkah. Okay. You can, on Burbank Boulevard, Continental Bakery or yeah. Sam's Bakery across the street, have the most insane. Yeah. yeah. Highly recommend. They're what makes delicious. What makes them different than regular donuts? You can only get them once a year. I don't really know. <laughs> and they're, they're small, round. Um, and um, they come from bakeries that don't actually make donuts. No. Really. It's Jewish like bakery. it really oh, is I like something very specific to Hanukkah. Something's like, different in the dough. It's yeah. got to be. Not just regular donut dough. Yeah, like you don't get them at Krispy Kreme. No, you know what right, I mean? Right. Like it really comes from a Jewish bakery. And it's something about... Um, they're, well, they're smaller than a traditional jelly donut, yeah. but it, it all is like round. Yeah, it's like a little ball. So, well, and there's something about Hanukkah too, like it's like a kippa is round, a latka is round, sofkenyots are round. Yeah. Like there's so, you're supposed to do like I'm not sure what the meaning is with it, but it's I I don't know. I always assumed it had to do with um, the circle of life. Yeah, yeah, that's- but that's for. Um, <laughs> Rosh Hashanah yeah. for the new um, year. Like that's, but I always maybe. assumed they were somehow related. I don't really yeah, know. Yeah, there is something because I remember like reading a children's book one time and it was talking about like how everything was supposed yeah. to be round, whatever. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Clearly we're really good at this Jewish thing. Right? <laughs> but there are donuts and that's yeah. what got me on board. Yeah. I was like, I can do this Jewish thing if there are donuts involved. Yeah, right? <laughs> so I don't know. One year I was like, oh my God, like let's make donuts. So it started out with like Max when he was like, I don't know, maybe three and like two other little friends. And we like made donuts and Stephen fried them and whatever. And it's just become a big donut party where we have a just a giant party where I make a lot of dough and then kids like roll out dough and make all these different shapes and you can make jelly donuts or not jelly donuts. And then you fry them and then they go back and get to decorate with chocolate or sprinkles or whatever they want. Um, And parents drink a lot. So they forgive me for giving their children sugar. Well, parents (laughs) also eat a lot. I mean, I eat a lot of donuts on that day. (laughs) I'm not a donut eater, really. I Mm -hmm. I can pass up a donut There's something different though when they just come straight out. Yeah. Yeah. There is something different. They're better. It's really good dough, Mm -hmm. actually. It's really good dough. I think. But. Well, you're a really good baker. So. Okay, so you do anyway. the donut party. What else do you do? Because I, so we're an interfaith family too. Yep. And I struggle with like, obviously, like Hanukkah cannot compete with Christmas. And so I have like some little Hanukkah decorations and stuff, but pretty much our house is Christmas. So we, I've tried really hard. I mean, obviously this year it's not going to work because Hanukkah is over Christmas. But one of the reasons we don't put up our tree is because I try really hard to keep Hanukkah separate. Yeah. Like I don't put up the tree until Hanukkah is over. And they just overlap because this year, right? They do. It starts on the 22nd. Oh. So yeah, that's clearly that's not really happening. late. It is really late this year. That wacky Usually Jewish it's calendar. the beginning know, yeah. of December, so it's not yeah. such a big deal. And we just put up the tree after or right. whatever. Um, we also have, like, you know, for Hanukkah, we definitely don't do eight nights of presents just because we're never really home that often no. or whatever. And but they we get Christmas do, presents, too. They do get pre- Christmas presents. But what we do over Hanukkah is um, each night is 
I don't want to say a theme, but is sort of like reserved. Like there's one night where they get presents from Grammy. Yeah. Like their Jewish grandma. And she only, she doesn't give them presents for Christmas. She only gives them presents for Hanukkah and they get nothing else that night. That's just, that's Grammy's night. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the other things I started doing when they were very little that I really love is they have, it's called their each other night. They each buy a gift for their sibling Aww, um, that's and that's all they do. Like that's they nice. give, it's really sweet. And the stuff they come up with for each other, like I'm getting this for Max or I'm getting this for her. Like it's, it's really sweet. That is like, very sweet. Yeah. I try really hard. So one of the things them. I do, so my living room is like crazy Christmas town because mm-hmm. you know, I'm building my village. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Um, I got to get a hurt Michaels. Um, I got a coupon. Uh, but um, they, uh, in my dining room, I cover the walls, you know, so like our kids went to the same nursery school yeah. and they make a ton of artwork uh-huh. and I have a lot of yeah. Hanukkah artwork. So I kept it all and yeah, I keep it in a separate bag and I cover the walls oh, in the cute. dining room with all of their Hanukkah artwork that they made when they the were in nursery school. The dreidels that they have. Oh my gosh. Like, yeah. All the dreidels and those those beautiful like little, it almost looks like the stained glass yeah. ones that they did. Yeah. Those, so I have all that stuff and there's even ones that they, that hang from like the light and stuff. Uh-huh. So I do that in the dining room because my, um, my stepmother-in-law bought us these beautiful little Hanukkah homes that you put candles in that sit on the table and those sit on the dining room table. So I'm like, that's my Hanukkah room. Uh-huh. And then of course, like it opens up to the living room, which is like, Christmas explosion. <laughs> Christmas explosion. That's great. So I'm like, you know, what it what it works. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Sounds like it works, actually. Totally. It does work. Yeah, yeah, it does. I mean, we used to try to do both because I don't I didn't since I wasn't raised Jewish, I didn't and my husband actually did not grow up celebrating Christmas. Oh ah, yeah, like he either. was the typical Jewish, like they had Chinese food and went and saw a movie on Christmas. Right. So when we got married, um, I agreed to raise the kids. We agreed that we would raise the kids Jewish. But I was just like flat out like, um, I can't give up Christmas. Like this is the happiest memories of my life. Yeah. And I don't look at it as a religious holiday. Mm. Um, it's just to me a feeling of happiness and goodness and giving. Mm-hmm. And there is like someone was telling me like the one of the origins is like, Yule, and I have to research it more, but it's like a, I think it's like a Swiss or Swiss or Norwegian, it was in the, one of the interfaith family classes that we did at Temple when we first started, and it's Yule was like is similar to like Christmas, where it's just like this time of happiness and giving, and you know the lights and all that. So I think of it as more of that. I don't necessarily look at it as a religious holiday, even though growing up we, you know, I did like sing all the Christmas hymns, and we went to we always went to church on Christmas Eve. Um, I don't look at it that way. I just, to me, it's just like happy memories and uh, celebration of life. Totally. Sort of. And I like, and that's what your kids see it as. Yeah. That's what my kids see it. And as so too. my son is really funny. He likes Christmas and likes the gifts and all that. But like, it, I don't know if it's like a girl or a boy thing, but, and the kids always get new ornaments every year that like, you know, like my son has like a ketchup bottle and a hamburger, like things that, yeah. you know, Bart Simpson, like mm-hmm. that's, th- those are their ornaments. Yeah. So when I'm, decorating the tree, I always like as I'm unpacking all the ornaments, start making their piles because they like to hang their own ornaments. Although I say they, he, I have to like, I'm like, your, your ornaments are still sitting here. You want to <laughs> come hang your ornaments? And then he comes and he's like, rrr, 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 and they're like falling off the tree. <laughs> <laughs> like, Could you take a little more time? Teenager. But, yeah. But my daughter is really, really into it. But that being said, I think if he walked in the room and he, and his, I'd already hung his, he'd be like, where are my ornaments? You know, like, yeah, yeah. but he doesn't get as into it. He's kind of like, He's a boy. Whatever about it. That's funny. Although yeah. that is, I guess that is one thing we do. We always do our tree together as a family. Yeah. Every single year. So like my husband do does not get into decorating the tree. Oh, and since really? he didn't do it growing up, I don't that force him to. <laughs> well, I do, I do, I do it all. Yeah, the whole darn thing. I don't want to do the lights. I and, do um, that. and now I get, it's really easy because we used to all get the tree together, but now the, my son's high school, like, I mean, every Catholic high school, they sell them as yeah. part of a fundraiser for something. So I, my son's school it's for the baseball team and we always have a friend who's on the baseball team so I buy my wreath and my tree through them and they are amazing they come from Oregon that's like why I'm telling you like my they don't freaking die like these trees are so good um so um I just literally swing by at the high school and there's like you know, 30 boys standing there and they tie it to your roof and like, so great. send you on your way. And it's so easy. That's a good fundraiser. It is really good. It's yeah. a, and I get my tree and my wreath and the wreaths are beautiful too. Yeah. I bought a wreath from uh, Billy Fisher. Yes. Um, oh, and it lasted forever. Oh yeah. I was going to say, no, he's not on the baseball team anymore. Cause I was like, Oh shoot. I didn't buy my tree from him, but they, he's not on the baseball team. No, now. no. <laughs> 
Well, we have some traditions too in my house. We we've been decorating the tree. I think with a bunch of kids, but we used to decorate it with it with my just our family. Mm-hmm. Bert could care less about decorating the tree. He's like he's uh, he he just wants it up. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> but when I grew up, Christmas Eve was my favorite night of the whole year. Also, um, my grandmother hosted. Uh, she has four kids, so it was my dad, his three siblings, and all of their kids, which is my generation, and now it's our kids, and some of them have kids. It's still happening, even though both my grandparents have passed away. My cousin Stephanie hosts it, but she always made breakfast for dinner. So we, oh, she was awesome. like, we've had turkey, we've had ham, we're having it again tomorrow. Yeah. We're just going to have breakfast for dinner. So. That's been, I mean, I still do that at my house every Christmas Eve. So what is it, like eggs and pancakes and everything? No pancakes. Okay. We've never been a pancake family. It's Uh biscuits and gravy and eggs and bacon, sausage, chicken fried steak. Oh, that's Um, awesome. And she would make homemade candy. Uh, For whatever reason, Christmas for her was not about cakes and pies and stuff. It was all homemade candy. So she'd make fudge and divinity and she made this candy with like sorghum syrup and ground fresh peanuts we called peanut candy i don't know what its real name is but it's one of i mean your teeth literally like rot on contact (laughs) it's so good it is so good i would sit down and almost with a spoon eat the whole damn pan i loved it but she she wouldn't make divinity she only made it christmas what is divinity divinity is like a whipped egg almost like a meringue but it's but it's um is thicker. It's kind of, if you could marry meringue and taffy. So it's not as chewy as taffy, but it's not as fluffy and light as meringue. And it has walnuts in it. It's white. And it is fucking awesome. Oh my God, I'm going to Google this. this. this I've never to, heard of it. i try to make well, it. This no. is reminding me of that salad that she makes for the ornament. But that yeah, she for fruit the ornament salad. Yeah, yeah. Every Wait, Christmas. But what was it salad. called? It's not called... Fr- no, it's just fruit salad. No, there was like Aurora, like it had a name. Ambrosia? No, ambrosia. that's not Ambrosia. Oh, ambrosia, yeah, ambrosia has marshmallows in it. Oh. That's not... No, we didn't do but Ambrosia. this is your fruit salad with mayonnaise. Yeah, we make fruit salad, which is not a typical fruit salad because it's usually Granny Smith apple, some type of red apple, oranges, um, grapes, and that's that's it, and mayonnaise and cinnamon. So you just kind of mix it up, and it's one of my favorite things so ever. Did you mix the cinnamon into the mayonnaise? No, you just do it. You separate. sprinkle the cinnamon on the fruit, oh my God. and then mix the mayonnaise. Who knew that first year I, I know, had that? Right? I was Isn't like, "This is ridiculous." And they were like, "It's mayonnaise." I was like, "What? What?" <laughs> But it has to be good mayonnaise. It can't be cheap ass, half fat bullshit mayonnaise. It's got to be mayonnaise, right? Full fat. Yeah, it's got to okay, be so real thing. Okay, so and fruit salad. Got divinity, it. Uh, peanut candy, yeah. uh, peanut brittle. She made peanut brittle every Christmas. A lot of peanuts, obviously. We're in Georgia. Mm-hmm. My mom is the same way, actually. She made a ton of candy. Of candy. For Christmas. Yeah, I don't know why. I wonder did? why. Yeah. She only made that candy at Christmas. Yeah, like she would too. make the peanut candy sometimes. But the rest of it, it was only Christmas. So we did, I just, she would have this like, you know how they have those three tiered kind of tea platter looking things. They'd just be full of candy and fudge. And um, yeah, that was good. It was my favorite night of the year. So I tried to, I started doing that when, we, when I moved to California. I started having, because I can't go back home every Christmas Eve. We took Such a horrible time to travel. It's terrible. And we have two kids and they don't want to be in Georgia for Christmas. They want to be home. Mm -hmm. So we can't possibly fly there for Christmas Eve and then fly (laughs) home for Christmas Day. No. So I started doing it here and it's gotten to be a bit of a monstrosity. I think I invited you when I first started and you told me you had your tradition. Yeah. So then I didn't invite you anymore. But (laughs) uh, the Fromkins come and the Grusins and the Hayslips. And now it's just gotten bigger. Bert just keeps inviting more and well, more we'll people. We'll come by on our our lesbian family. We'll come <laughs> by on our on our holiday light walk, and we'll have a drink with you. Awesome, <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, but yeah, the chicken fried steak is like a very labor intensive, and uh, I, I can I, only I'm imagine not, it's very labor intensive. It's not. It's not, it's really a fun night. I actually have a lot of fun, but it looks like I'm like super stressed and like sweaty and working. Yeah. It's a lot of work, but I really do love perpetuating that tradition. I it think is, it's awesome. It meant a lot to me. And then um, our kids draw names. So the camper kids all draw 
a name and they give each other, you know, one, yeah. one gift. So we opened gifts that night from the camper kids. And then last year, the camper adults drew names, which was hysterical because <laughs> I knew who had every name because every male in the camper group <laughs> called me and was like, okay, remember, I've got so-and-so. <laughs> I don't know what to get for so-and-so. I knew who everybody had hilarious. last year. Yeah. And then Sandy called and me then, about who she had. And I, it was just so funny. Do you ever do Elster? Like, what did what'd you say? Elster? Elfster? Yeah. No, I tr- we I do it. We did it once with Bert's family. Yeah. I love Elfster, but only because like if you're if you're especially if you're choosing names, Wait, it makes it, it so easy. So it's a it's a it's Elfster.com, I think. Yes. But you can put in if you want to do a secret Santa with a group, you put in everyone's name and their email addresses, and then it basically goes whoosh, like mixes everybody up and oh, emails oh, everybody who they have. But you can so we I do it with my siblings because we don't buy gifts for every sibling because yeah. we're already we're spending so much money on all the kids now yeah. so i can say like so and so can't so no one can get their spouse i can like click off toggle like you can't get this person you can't get that person and then it just scrambles it every year and then you get assigned a new person and then you can create wish lists on it right you can so put a christmas list on you it. can make your christmas list on it so whoever has you can choose so it's i i really liked it but my daughter is doing it with friends this year but it's craft they have to make something oh, that's cool. for each other that's meaningful. And then no one will know who they have, but then they're going to go around and whoever you have, you stand up and say, I have so-and-so. And you have to talk about the all the lovely qualities about that person Aww, and then cute. give them their craft gift. That's great. I know. So I that's I think I'll start just because it makes it easy because it's sometimes hard to get everybody in the same room to pick a name. Yeah. yeah. Um, because... Also, if there's distance involved, so Alfster kind of solves that problem. Yeah, it's a great, mm-hmm. it's a great little. Uh, I don't know if it's an app. It's a website. I it's guess. a website, but Elfster. I think it can also be an app. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really helpful. So Christmas Eve is a tradition. Christmas Day, our tradition is shifting around because traditionally, yeah, my in laws came here before my kids woke up. But now we have a nephew that's two. Yeah. So my kids clearly now know that Santa Claus is not real. So mm-hmm. now our tradition is shifting kind of to their house. So in the past. I would make like a, you know, a make ahead breakfast casserole you just throw in in the morning. I think somehow I'm still making the make ahead casserole. Even though you do there. Christmas Eve? Yes. I, well, I had to do both because uh, it was at my house. Right, right. So, but I think if I remember right, last year I still made that make ahead casserole and <laughs> took it over there, but whatever. Um, and that's really fun and funny. And we do the same thing you do. Everyone opens one gift at a time mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and we just, everybody looks at what that person gets and then moves on. It moves probably a lot faster than your house because I have a lot of impatient fast fingers, but yeah. yeah. We how old were you guys? Do you remember how old you were when you stopped Two. How old were you when you stopped believing in Santa and how old were your kids when they stopped believing in Santa? Oh, shut up. I figured it out when I was seven. I was seven too. Yeah. Um, but I think I could have gone longer because I really wanted to believe. Yeah. Right. Uh, but I have an older brother and sister. Oh, no, I just figured it out. No. Yeah. I don't really remember. I was probably around that age, maybe a little bit older. Uh-huh. And I know for a while I just did not acknowledge so that my parents would, you know. Yeah. Like if you I don't, if you I, don't believe right. you don't receive. Exactly. Yeah. That was my <laughs> I was like, how is it that, that was, Santa's yeah. handwriting is just like my mom's? Like nobody in the world. She didn't writes, mask it. Huh? I would write, I write Santa's letters with my left hand. Oh no, she would just sign it. Bert did too. Yeah. No, no, no. She, it was the exact same handwriting. I was like, wait a minute. But I wouldn't acknowledge it. My mom is Santa Claus? Yeah. (laughs) What? I knew it. (laughs) Gosh, that explains a lot. What about your kids? When did Um, they stop? Okay. So my son probably stopped when he was like 10, nine or 10. Um, But Sasha, honestly, I believe, believed until she was at least like 12, 12 and a half. Oh, we had to tell Georgia when she was 13 and well, a half. So I want to say we had that to tell her. last year was just the revelation, like leading up to Christmas. And she did not want to like acknowledge or talk about it. Like where I think like she realized it wasn't true, but was the like, death of a dream. Yeah. She, was <laughs> so, she didn't want to talk about it. Yeah. She was like, I want to talk about it. No, we had both girls uh, <laughs> and we were like, okay. And then my and my she felt deceived that we'd been lying to her. Uh, I don't know how my kids felt about it, but I when we told them both at the same time, we were like, "We need to tell you this. <laughs> you know, we are Santa." And Georgia's face just like dropped, like what? And Isla went, "I knew it." 
<laughs> I knew you were Santa. And I said, how did you know? She said, too many suspicious things happening. Too many, too many packages coming from Amazon. Uh, too much going on. And I was like, that was my brain. When I was a kid, I was like, wait a minute. My parents are divorced, but they stay in the same house for Christmas Day. And my dad shows up with a bunch of shit in his trunk. They're, they're Santa. And then all of a sudden, I, I just went, I just put two and two together. Like yeah, Isla did. Yeah. Like too many boxes. <laughs> this isn't adding and up. And Georgia just wanted to believe. She had no, if you could have seen the look on her face, she had no idea. No clue at all. But uh. we did, you know what we did? Big mistake. <laughs> One year, years ago, we made, they wanted to catch video, uh, Santa in the act. So Bert was like, okay, let's set up a GoPro and we'll just put it on like time lapse and we'll run it all night long and we'll catch Santa when he comes. And I was in the background going, how in the hell are we going to pull that off? Right? So he does it. He sets a little GoPro up on our mantle. And then in the middle of the night, Priscilla's asleep on the couch. He goes in and pauses the GoPro, turns it, uh, and then he puts a glove on, right? Pushes play again, and he's underneath the mantle and reaches his gloved hand up <gasps> and turns the camera to face the mantle. Like he's come out of the chimney and turned the camera around. <laughs> and the next day we, we woke up and we were like, let's check out that video. Let's see about if we caught Santa. And our kids watching that video were like, oh, my God, <laughs> Santa is totally magic. How did he know there was a camera there? Priscilla didn't even bark at him. Uh, this is insane. <laughs> oh, my God. We caught Santa. Santa's real that hand. Is genius. Oh, it's, or terrible. It, it was terrible because George is 13 and a half going, no, I have him on video. But wait, no, what about? Proof. What? <laughs> right? I've, I have him caught on tape. He's caught on tape. Oh, my God. Wait, what about, <laughs> do you remember that you could get the North, the, the, the email like video thing from Santa at the North Pole and it was like customized. So it said like, Hi, Sasha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Santa. Yeah. <laughs> and so you could like be really detailed. Like, I know you want this. Like, oh, you know, yeah. They had yeah. you fill out this whole thing. Um, and, but then it would say things like, but you need to work on this. Yeah. You know, to stay on the nice list. Um, and I'm sure some parents were like just, you know, being friendly, being kind to others. But like I one year was like really specific about certain things that they were doing. Oh my right. God. <laughs> and Sasha burst into tears because oh she was horrified that Santa knew <laughs> he was number watching. one that she had done this oh and my was God. like falling and I was like damn it <laughs> oh, I crossed the line okay the line. we do this <laughs> other thing also that hammered in the belief of Santa mm -hmm. Bert's Uncle Pete lives in Florida so every year when uh, at Christmas Eve Uncle Pete would call but Bert had changed his photo to Santa Claus so Bert would surreptitiously leave his cell phone like face up <laughs> on the coffee table and Uncle Pete would call and we would have gone in the other room and gone, okay, Max Frompkin wants a train. Carter Grusin wants a pogo stick. Isla Kreischer wants, and we told him like one thing they each wanted and he wrote it all down. So he has this awesome deep voice and the phone would start ringing and Santa would come up and the kids, the first year it happened, the kids were like, <gasps> <laughs> Santa's calling. <laughs> He has your cell phone. Max flipped out. Uh, Remember you this? have no idea. He's still flipping out over it. It by blew the way. his mind. <laughs> yes. I think he took Steven outside, right? I was just going to say do this. It, yes, do he it. took Steven outside and was like, Dad, I have to know. Is this real? What is happening? <laughs> he was like, he was, well, I don't know, seven, six. I don't know how old he was. No, but he was it older was, than that. He was probably nine. He was losing his mind. Oh, and the that. kids were like wrapped. They were just like, <laughs> They were listening on speakerphone to Santa talk to each of them. And they'd say, they'd say is there Kylie here? <gasps> yes. <laughs> Kylie, I hear you want a skateboard. I do. <laughs> it's so awesome. And all of us adults in the background were like, oh, my God, this is hysterical and possibly terrible oh at the God. same time. So I think the combination of the video of Santa and Uncle Pete calling every year. Uncle Pete a couple times called a little maybe half in the bag. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, maybe you know, it's a little Santa, dicey. Let's be a little, uh, sometimes. He was working. No, it really wasn't right because he was cold. <laughs> Santa was exhausted. <laughs> Santa was beat. Yeah. He needed a little happy time. Totally. <laughs> He'd only made it to Florida. Yeah. Yeah, he right. was tired. In Florida, he went and he had some Margaritaville. Oh, so he got back on the, on the sleigh. Uh, but yeah, 
That's I was, funny. by the way, there, but, one of the funniest my son said, because he was like in geography class or something in elementary school. And and it was the year that he got from Greenland to the United States. Like, I don't even want to say how fast. And we weren't expecting it. And I was like, how did he get from Greenland so fast? And I remember my son going, mom, there isn't a really big population there. <laughs> like, <laughs> he didn't have to stop a lot. And I was like, true, true. <laughs> Thanks, Elijah. Thank you. God, I'm glad this education is really working out for you. It's like, God, that was funny. He was just uh, in Greenland. How is he in Maine now? That's so funny. That's right. I will say, though, uh, I don't remember exactly when my kids found out, but I do remember Max obviously found out before Lily. Um, and for like two years, he was so excited because he would move the elf every day. Like Aww, that became his tradition. Her. Like, so he was so thrilled yeah. to be in on the secret Yeah, um, and didn't blow it. Yeah. We still so, do the elf on the shelf. We still do it too. But my kids believed in it so much. My they, kids actually uh, just rotate it themselves, but they do. we still do oh, it. Oh no, yeah. I hide it in ridiculous places now. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They look so for funny. it. Yeah. I, I hid it in ridiculous places anyway. But you know right. who was really good with that elf was Sam Fisher. Was she? Oh yeah. Oh my God. She came up with genius. I'm assuming she used to research on the web, but she came up with genius. Like she one time took an entire box of Lucky Charms, like the giant oh, one, yeah. emptied it onto the counter and had the elf do it that he had done snow angels in it. Oh my God. And it was like elf snow angel. And then one time we it was like, this kids must have been really young because we had one of those like life-size Barbie houses that had like the giant toilet, like the Mm-hmm. Barbie's yeah. toilet. She borrowed that and they came down and the elf was sitting on the toilet. Oh my God. That's funny. <laughs> she had really good stuff. That's, yeah, that's great. Funny. Yeah, I never got that crazy. All the time. Yeah. Uh, those are fun. Yeah. We still yeah. do that too. So I have a couple more traditions. We um we shop every year, right? We go to Verona. There's a boutique locally where uh, we have like a ladies' night out. I won this if, uh, like private shopping event at a small boutique at a silent auction for a fundraiser for a school one year. And we had so much fun because this shop owner, Jenny, closes her shop down. And we have wine and we have flatbreads and we shop. And she has all like from $20 items to $350 items. And I've had probably 12 to 20 women every year. I don't even know how many years in a row now. At least five or six. It's been a lot, I feel like. It's been a lot. That's a really fun night. And it's now become a tradition. Like, I'm just going to keep doing it because we have so much fun. Are you coming this year? I am. Awesome. It'll be really fun. I'm really excited. Yeah. That's another tradition I have. And then the other one, I have two more. I started taking the girls to Disney on ice. Oh, God. <laughs> right and around. You know how I feel about that. December. I know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. But... Uh, we went the, just the three of us the last time and Georgia said, okay, this needs, at this point, this is a tradition. We've gone every year. Disney on ice is always here right around Christmas and we've gone every year. I don't think we're going to get to go this year though. Cause it's Darren's birthday party. Oh, but and what did I say to you when you asked me if I wanted to go last year? Uh, no. <laughs> I said, I'd rather stick ice picks in my ice. <laughs> <laughs> We laugh. I, I so feel hard. the same way. Jeannie, well, as first a of all, of fact. thirty dollars for some stupid drink thing that I get suckered into buying. Yeah, yeah, every, every year. Yeah, time. Olaf's head. Oh yeah. my god, it's just so painful. It is, but you know, <laughs> my Olaf's kids head. turned a cover, a corner with the painful, where it became very humorous. Yeah. So we sat the last time we went and laughed our butts off the whole time and literally walk into the car. George's like, at this point, it's a tradition. We just have to go every year. It is very cute. It's very fun. It's yeah. just something that the three of us did, too. Right. right. And I guess you, can you see Bert at Disney on Ice? No. No. <laughs> no. He would not do that. And then the other tradition I have, which I've had, I can't believe it, this is my 16th year in a row, is my ladies' ornament exchange luncheon. So when I had Georgia, or when I was pregnant with Georgia, I thought... Life is about to change, and I need to make sure that I take at least one day to appreciate my girlfriends because I'm about to get too busy to have girlfriends like I've had before. So I started this ornament exchange luncheon where everybody brings an ornament, and we number the ornaments and draw a number, and that's the ornament you get. Unless you're certain people who attend and oh my secretly God. swap ornaments behind people's backs. But <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. So funny. Some people have criminal activities at the ladies, <laughs> ladies' order exchange ornament and they may not it's have so bizarre. Come How back. could you oh, not right. be happy with an ornament? Right. Is there such a thing as a bad ornament? I don't know, man. Along, You'd have to try. Along with bad bingo prizes, I'm just gonna say. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah? Uh-huh. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I can't wait to hear about that story off the mic. <laughs> But, um, oh yeah, so 
I, and at a certain point in the day, I, I try to stand up and tell everybody, thank you for being my friend. And it's become a very meaningful day for me. And I want everybody to show up. They don't bring anything. You don't cook anything. I cook everything. I serve everything because it's a day of gratitude for me. That's been a really good day for me. I love that day. It means a lot to me because, you know, my friends are my family. My family's too far away and too crazy. <laughs> so one of the two, they're either too far away and also too crazy or just too far away. So I really love that day. I think that's my only traditions, and that the and that and I have a New Year's Day tradition. We have to eat black eyed peas and collard greens on New Year's Day. Yeah, that's good. It but, means good luck, right? Um, luck and money. Yeah, yeah, but luck and money. My mom, growing up, my mom had a did a cookie exchange, which our Girl Scouts did. Oh, yeah, what's a tradition? Super fun. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Um, except for I'm the one who always sends the cookies with nuts, but um, <laughs> they did a cookie exchange and they took it very seriously. It was just a big group of women and they were very serious about their cookies. And these were like, we, my brother, and my sister, and I loved it because she would come back with like dozens of insane cookies. I'm sure. Um, but, um, one year there was a woman in the cookie Christmas cookie exchange who, um, apparently was like very rushed and didn't have a lot of time and did, Rice Krispie treats that she had just decorated with like red and green sprinkles. Yeah. She almost got kicked out. (gasps) (laughs) She almost got kicked out. They were like, this is not a cookie. (laughs) It's a treat. (laughs) And uh, like too low grade. Like this is how serious. Oh my God. This is how serious these ladies took their Christmas cookie exchange. Too low grade. I totally remember who, I still remember who the woman was. And she was like horrified, but she was like, I've been really busy. Scandalous. (laughs) That's hysterical. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. That's really funny. funny. Yeah. What other kind of exchanges like that have you guys heard of? Have you heard? Of, I mean, are those are white elephant scarf exchange. Scarf oh exchange. Oh my god! I mean, that's a, that's When's that party? Tradition. We haven't gotten our invite yet. No, I, I know. know. Sam Fisher. Hell, it is still November. Right. Well, I guess it's although our holiday camp calendar is filling up. Tell me about. I know. Right. I bet she's. <laughs> She's got to be thinking about it. She's so, got to be thinking about it. I love that scarf sure. stealing party. Did someone text it's her fun. right now. That's, that's the best. Yeah. I love that party. I literally go home with my stomach hurting yeah, so bad. Laughing. And there are certain, like, even friends of hers who we literally only see that night. Yeah. And yeah. I love those people. Yeah. Like that girl, Adele. I'm obsessed with her. She's <laughs> the one who used to crawl across when she was going to steal a scarf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But... I mean, the one, Alexandra who robbed the scarf on her one year. Do you remember like, one year those two, two we're like, you can keep it that moms time. came at, at, it was at Austin's house and they almost got in a fight over the scarf. Oh and my it turned God. out, remember yeah. that? Yes, and I do remember out, that. And it turned out the woman who wanted the scarf brought that scarf. Wait. She oh, brought that, that scarf. That I didn't remember. Wait, I'm trying oh, that's to remember. So funny. It was, they don't, Sean, they don't it Sean generally Sapp's come. Mother? Who? Sean Sapp's mother. It was uh, Kirsten. Kristen. Kristen. Oh, this Kristen. was okay. Yes. So this was yes. di- this is really this funny. was different. This, this was a different I, party. So I because yeah. we I have kids, her oldest age, and then her next one. So that was the year she did two parties. Oh, and, you're, you're right. You're and right. I didn't go to that one because I went to the older kid party. It was. I mean, they were like standing up, pull like tug of war. Who was the other mom? Crazy. I don't know. And they were not joking? It was, yeah, because remember, it was because her and Austin hosted it together. Yeah. So there was a totally different crowd. It was a totally, it was an well, odd, I was it was like, like, an odd night. It was a very twice. odd night. It was well, not, our regular crowd is yeah, awesome. It I different. actually, it's a, usually really nice because usually people are respectful. Like if someone puts yeah. on a scarf and you're like, that looks insane on you, usually people are like, she deserves that one. Yeah, Let yeah, her keep yeah. that one. <laughs> Although, Although I had a run of several years in a row <laughs> yeah, where yeah. I got the worst scarf at the party. <laughs> the one year I got one that hit my ankles after being wrapped around my neck three <laughs> times. And I was like, I should just give this to Kathy. Who can wear this? It's going to have to start at my nose. To I be do able to have be short like enough. a drawer full of scarves and there's maybe two in it that I wear. Like they're very pretty. I'm just not so much a scarf person. Yeah. I, I mean, mm-hmm. I do like scarves, but like they, I have to wear like just like like the little tight ones because yeah. It's just too much. It's here. too much going uh-huh. on. Yeah. Um, but I love I don't even like necessarily care what I come home with. I just freaking love that party. Oh, yeah, it's it's super party. fun. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. it is a great I have party. so much fun at that party. I laugh yeah. so hard. Me oh, too. It's really fun. So we'll have to get mm-hmm. on her and see when that party is. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so fun. What's up? What's up? Um <laughs> Yeah, and I have a, one of my with my work, I have a vendor line that 
is like very high end bedding, but she does these scarves that she imports from Paris and from Belgium and they're gorgeous. So that's wow. where I've been getting mine from. That's so I've amazing. had very popular scarves that I, I would brought yeah. to the table. And now there's two people who have asked me to buy their scarves for them for the party because they're like, you have Oh, that's good cheating. Ones. I know, but I, so I know because now I know which ones, right. but they're really, really nice scarves. So yeah. I'm bringing more nice scarves to the party. So. I love that. <laughs> That's amazing. And they're different. They're unique. Make sure you know? Leanne gets one. Yeah. <laughs> I try to go to Marshall's for my scarves. Yeah, they always have like good Target. ones Marshall's too. Marshall's great ones. Yeah. And it yeah. doesn't look like, you know, I mean, Target has great scarves too. I've got some from Target too. You know too, who bring, always brings a good scarf? You mm. want to try and find out which one she brings is Heidi. Sam- she does. Oh, yeah, she does bring I really nice ones. I got her one year and it was white cashmere. Oh. It's uh, ridiculous. It's so beautiful. Oh, that's amazing. I know. Okay, so let's I talk about- I hid it once I opened it. I put it underneath me so no one could see it. <laughs> Sneaky. <laughs> sneaky. Everybody, Everybody gets a, sneaky. They'll put it behind their back. I know, Everyone right? will be like, which one did you get? It's just the white one. You don't want it. It's just white. <laughs> white. It's plain. Super plain. <laughs> white gets so dirty. White's not I your mean, color, you don't yeah. want that. You, you can make up all yeah. over it. It's very itchy. Dry clay it's very itchy. Yeah. <laughs> it's mostly acrylic. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's a polyester acrylic blend. You don't want it. It's a cashmere <laughs> acrylic blend. It's a blend. You don't want that, right? <laughs> okay, so <sighs> gifts. Yes. I want to talk about gifts. Do you have any secret like places that you shop from for gifts? Because I do. Really? I don't know if I'm the only person that does. Is Kathy just Wait, looked uh, at me like, what? What's a secret place <laughs> no, that you shop my from? Kids like lists change so drastically every year. And honestly, mm-hmm. all I want this year is Birkenstocks because my new puppy ate four. Oh. Five hundred dollars and choose four. It, like I think there's something about the leather and the cork. Uh-huh. Is the cork. She goes into my closet and digs them out. I lost four no. pairs. <laughs> At Birkenstocks and I pretty much just live in Birkenstocks so I told I was like all I want is Birkenstocks well I'll mm-hmm. I'll give you some of my secrets okay tell me you should check out HSN Home uh-huh. Shoppers Network uh-huh. because HSN carries Birkenstocks and they are usually um, unique ones they don't sell in any other store so some of them of course are like uh, a little obnoxious. Do like, you go online? Yeah, you can go online. And if you know your size, especially for something like a Birkenstock, right. mm-hmm. you know, for things, I, I this is two of my secret places are QVC and HSN. Okay. But I buy products that I know what they are. Like I know, I know what size Birkenstock I am. Totally. These Birkenstocks right. I bought at HSN. And I love them because oh. they're not a typical Birkenstock. Yeah, they're super cute. And, um, and you know you're taunting me with your Birkenstock. I'm taunting right Birkenstock taunt. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the insole was black, yeah. and I like that they were kind of shiny, so I sort of dress them up. Totally. Not that you really dress up Those Birkenstocks, are really cute. But, but they have some right now that are uh, Sherpa lined. Like oh, I want those. Like yeah. wool lined. That's on my but list. They're at HSN. Okay. Uh, also, I mean, you can buy them other places. Yeah. But, and HSN usually has a better price than what you would buy at a Nordstrom or somewhere. It's a better price, and they have stuff you can't find. So, like, if you like. An off the beaten path color, like if you're looking for, um, say, like a gold or something, that they'll have that where that you can't find that shoe in a gold in a department store. So that's how QVC and HSN kind of function is that they they do things that are unique to their network. So sometimes they're something you would never wear. And sometimes you go, oh, I would totally wear a red Birkenstock or whatever. And, mm-hmm. and you don't find that in the public. So that's one place I shop. A lot. They have great deals around the holidays and not just Black Friday, but just in the holidays in general. So philosophy is a line of beauty products that my kids Mm -hmm. use. Well, a philosophy like, you know, pump shampoo that you buy at at Macy's or wherever, you can get the same exact shampoo, but almost double the ounces for the same price. So if it's something I'm going to buy anyway... Why wouldn't I buy? And they'll go go through the whole big jug. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's the stuff I buy at HSN and QVC. Uh, they have great stuff like, I always buy my dad something from there. They have these great like um, gadgets, like tape measures that have a digital memory. So you can measure something and push the memory and it will remember what you just measured. And then you can flip through and look it up again. My dad loves that tape measure. I bought it at QVC. Mm-hmm. They have a like a... One of those battery packs that you charge that can jump off your car. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or you can just use as a as a battery pack. Uh, that was cheaper than what I could find even on Amazon. And it was a great, great battery pack. Bought that for my dad at QVC. So that's one of the little secret places. It's not secret, but that's one of my little go-tos. angular places. One of my go-to places. Yeah. That, that's one. Another one is the container store. 
They have awesome stocking stuffers. They Yes, they do. Awesome, That place right? is so cute. I love everything in that store. I love everything in that store too. But I wait. At Christmas, they yeah. send a catalog. And I have bought year after year after year stocking stuffers from that like place. Like what kind of mm-hmm. stuff? Like um, I bought Bert this silicone beer holder for inside the shower. So you just stick it on the <laughs> tile and you put your beer in it. I mean, is that brilliant? That's freaking brilliant. Dude, I just like that. Like the five minute shower, he still needs the beer in the shower. <laughs> diet Coke. It's usually a Diet Coke. Okay, okay. It's usually a Diet Coke. <laughs> but yeah, that I bought him one for the tour bus too because I'm like, you got to have that in the tour bus. You got to have your Diet Coke. Um, that's one of them. They have adorable little like, um, what are those memory things that you stick in the computer? Flash drives? Yeah, thank you. Those things. Uh-huh. They have like cute little animals. Like, okay. so Lily takes one to school that yeah. has like a little creature on it or cute. whatever that they are do. inexpensive. Cord keepers that are colorful mm-hmm. for, you know, stuff that's more my kid's age. Yeah. I didn't really buy a lot of stocking stuffers when they were little. Yeah. Once they started getting into electronics and stuff like that, I found a lot of, they're just cute little gadgety little yeah. stuff okay. that's useful. So funny stocking story. I, years ago, um, we had these little tiny knit stockings. And as the kids were getting like older, this is again, years and years ago, I was like, oh, they need larger stockings. So I decided that after Christmas, I was going to order, you know, for the after Christmas sale from like Party Barn Kids, nice stockings. And so I do. And they were, the prices were great. And so I order these stockings um, that looked super cute. And I get them and unbeknownst to me, I, I'm like, I feel like maybe you've seen them before. They were the jumbo ones. Oh, God. Yes. So they literally go from my, the top of my mantle oh my God. to the bottom. Oh, my God. And my kids were <laughs> so little when they got them, they could actually get into them. Oh, my God. They were as tall as they were. That's so funny. imagine having to fill those suckers. Yeah, yeah no. So I, I basically just get like the foot part of it is like that big. So yeah. I get like the foot full. But I do lots of socks and stockings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I fill with socks. I do can't the candy goes in the stockings. Yeah. Um, and then I do like ha- for Sasha, I'll do like hair stuff and mm-hmm, things like mm-hmm. that. Um, and when Elijah was little, I would do those like little Lego, like the little tiny square Lego yeah. packs and those yeah. things. But now that they're getting older, I feel like stockings are harder. They are. Yeah, it is, especially for a boy. Yeah. yeah, like girl stuff. There's always hair stuff or like little like lip gloss or whatever no you polish. can throw in there. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right, so Boys are definitely trickier. When I was age. growing up too, there was no. We do take turns opening gifts, but we literally just rifled through and it was over in like three seconds. Yeah, but we would we had a method. Like you, we had a stairs. We would run down the stairs, go straight to our stockings, dump our stockings, see what was in them, and then run to open. It would all be piles, like my pile, my sister's pile, my brother's pile. Well, I'm convinced my parents must have been like really drunk on Christmas. Christmas Eve and realized that they <laughs> forgot about stockings because I'll never forget one Christmas running down the stairs, taking our stockings, putting them upside down, and all of us going, golf balls. They're golf <laughs> balls? Oh my God. And we were like excited. I don't know. It was Christmas morning. We were like, golf balls. And then we ran to our piles, but it was like balls all over the oh floor. Oh my God. That's around. hysterical. And my dad was a big golfer. So I think they probably were like, what are we filling their stockings with? And my dad's like, golf balls. And they filled our stockings. Oh my God. With That's funny. Golf balls. Wait a minute. <laughs> do you not wrap what's in your stockings? Um, no, no. I don't know. Oh my God. We do. No. God, how late are you up Christmas Eve wrapping? Till 2 a.m. drinking. But then what time do your kids get up? They might get golf balls. <laughs> <laughs> not a bad You're plan. Like, Brilliant. <laughs> tennis balls I take up this. more room. And, I'm not and now that them. my daughter is playing tennis, I am for sure filling that sucker with tennis balls. <laughs> tennis balls, tennis socks, tennis skirt. Totally. Tennis right. says, yeah. <laughs> Little yeah, visor. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, what time? So we stay up usually like till like definitely 1231. I, but I my kids say, are up at like seven and I'm exhausted. I oh, secretly same. start wrapping some things beforehand. Yeah, right. Steven gets annoyed, but I'm like, dude, we are going to be up forever. Yeah. 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 it be hours. But, yeah. I have a bad, but I he have loves a, it. So it's does. hard for me to take it away. Yeah. But, I think Bert has yeah. wrapped zero presents. I, I'm pretty sure my husband, zero. I think that's, wraps mine and zero. that's it. No, my husband Stephen gets my actually kids to wrap mine. Has, <laughs> oh, that's funny. Stephen has a tradition. Actually, he takes my kids shopping for me. The Aww. three of them have a whole Saturday that they go out. Well, actually, it's generally the day before Christmas. Yeah, the <laughs> maybe two days 23rd. before. Um, and then they all go to my mother in law's house and wrap my stuff. Oh, like they, so, that's it's cute. actually really sweet. That, that is sweet. Yeah. Sweet. Well, I have a nightmare Christmas Eve story. Mm-hmm. Bert Kreischer. Mm-hmm. Bert Kreischer will love this story. Um, he had been traveling a lot, so I had bought. Um, Christmas almost entirely without him, right? But he likes to check my work <laughs> as we go through because he always believes that I'm too cheap and I don't buy enough. Our kids are so freaking spoiled. 
I buy way more than they need, right? In my opinion. And he never thinks it's enough. So this one year I had bought some really expensive stuff. So the volume didn't mm -hmm. look huge, but the items themselves were expensive. Well, we had our Christmas Eve breakfast for dinner, uh, campers name drawing exchange. He might've had a little more eggnog than he should have. <laughs> I pull everything out for Christmas and spread it all out. And he goes, this is a fucking loser Christmas. Loser. <gasps> this is loser. I'm going to need you to go to Rite Aid. It's 1230. I'm going to need you to go to Rite Aid and fill in some blanks here. And I was like, excuse me? And he goes, this Christmas sucks. And I'm like, you're kidding. Look, I have this. I don't remember what the big items were, like iPads or something. They weren't that, but it was something like that. Yeah. Where like, I've spent like my whole budget on pretty much one item. And then I've filled in the blanks with a few little things. He was so nasty that I drove to Rite Aid. I remember this. Remember? Yeah. He was horrible that night. And what horrible. did you find at Rite Aid? I know, that's Christmas the thing. You're like, really? You're buying Christmas at Rite Aid? What did you find? I found a tabletop air hockey. Oh. I found a like attached to your own table ping pong. Um, I found I found actually a ton of stuff at Rite Aid at 1 a.m. on Christmas morning. That must morning. have been the most depressing place to be at know, 1 a.m. Right? on Christmas. Poor I people was not working. alone. And did you get thrifty while you were there? Right, <laughs> right. There's an ice cream. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, I, but everything was 50% off. So I was just like, I, I was so angry. I, I loaded every single toy I could find into my buggy. And I came home with a truckload full of stuff. And then you make him wrap them. No, nope, no. Nope. I was like, you're no, I did not wrap that stuff. I just set it out like Chris like yeah, yeah. just delivered it. That's how so mm -hmm. our Santa gifts when I was growing up were not wrapped. Yeah, mine too. We do that here. Oh. Our wrapped oh, gifts really? are personal gifts to each other. Yeah. But our Santa gifts are not, we're not wrapped. wrapped. So I wrapped no, everything. We wrap everything, everything. everything. And well, and by the way, so you are I, stupid. I have <laughs> I have certain Yeah, but there's so certain, fun that you get um, to open everything. I know, yeah. There's certain wrapping paper that we had that was Santa wrapping paper. And I so still we, do that. Actually. So we had to hide that wrapping paper yeah. and I would buy like tons of rolls at the, the giant Costco rolls and yeah. I keep it in my mm -hmm. attic. So it's always been the same wrapping paper that Santa From uses. Santa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We never wrap Santa. I mean, I, I growing up, we didn't either. But no, I, I don't. Now. I did growing up. I think I Our did. Santa was always wrapped. Everything was always wrapped. I think I started wrapping Santa when they knew Santa didn't exist. Right. Because then Santa still brings presents, right? So mm -hmm. this is from Santa. Totally. I do that too. But it's always, I wrap everything now because I get tired of hiding it. I don't mm -hmm. have anywhere to hide it. Yeah, but see, my dogs will eat Ugh. what's underneath the tree. Well, see, that's I've, funny. I'm troubleshooting that already. So that's a problem. So I can't, nothing goes out underneath yeah, the tree. Yeah, Stephen doesn't want anything under the tree until Christmas yeah, Eve. Yeah, nothing oh. goes out. He gets out. really annoyed. Mine and gets I'm like, all dude, hidden. I got no place to put this I know, now. right? We have an attic, so everything goes, I wrap it and then it goes in the attic and then on Christmas Eve it comes out because the dogs will freak I end it. up putting all the gifts that like are, aren't for our immediate family, like for friends and whatever, all of that goes under the tree and the rest I just have to hide. Have you ever done a pet for a child for Christmas? No. No. Have you? Well, no, but we might be this year. What are you going to mm -hmm. get? Um, She might get, a, uh, Sasha might get a guinea pig. Oh, oh guinea really? pigs are so awesome. Oh, I thought you were about to say are so awful. No, I love them. <laughs> cute. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I love so, them. Um, yeah. So now we'll, we'll have two dogs, a lizard a fish and a guinea pig. You're 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 catching up with me. I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think that we may get our guinea pig. So I'm researching it right now. Um, actually, Darren does not know about this yet. Ah, uh, oh, whoops. Hopefully, he doesn't listen to this podcast. Yeah. Right. Um, <laughs> or maybe not. you should have talked to him before. <laughs> I'll talk to him at some point, but I'm going to have all the research and everything done yeah. first. And have you ever had a kid who was totally disappointed on Christmas? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Last year, Sasha was. Oh, yeah? So Elijah got a new phone um, because he was like due for one. And so he that was pretty exciting. Yeah. And then I didn't even ask for it, but I got an Apple Watch. I think it was like a bundle deal that when uh, Darren went to go get Elijah his mm -hmm. phone. It was. Last they were, Christmas. Yeah. They was. were like, here, have a watch too. Mm -hmm. Because I for sure had never asked for a watch and then I opened it and I was really like, I was so surprised. I was like, wait, is this for me? I literally like thought it was labeled wrong. And wow. he was like so sad that I didn't really care, but I'm not really that person. So I was like, yeah. what do I do with it other than tell time? <laughs> <laughs> and literally all I use it for is time and my steps. Yeah. That's it. And so yeah. I don't wear, I wore a Fitbit. Now I no longer wear a Fitbit. Right. Um, but uh, she got like, I, she was like really wanting clothes and stuff. So we got her like a lot of clothes and 
but then as we were opening, I was kind of like, uh oh, oops, like mm-hmm. realizing that her like it may be like a little bit like clothes and stuff aren't super exciting. There was like yeah. she had no exciting gift. Right. It was no big wow. Uh, so um, mm-hmm. we ended up redoing her room, redecorating her room over winter break last year. Oh, mm-hmm. that was her wow. That was her. She was like, um, yeah, she did. You know, her room kind of still looked like a baby room. Yeah. Yeah. So we redecorated her room. Mm-hmm. So well, that, that's a great gift. Yeah. That's a great gift. I, it was like she didn't say anything, but I could just tell on Christmas Day. And so I was like totally overcompensating. Like, so what do you want to do during winter break? Should we just like totally redecorate your room? <laughs> I meant to write that down for your stocking. And, yeah. Right? Open it up. For, totally and forgot. And Darren's literally favorite. looking at me from the other room like, what did you just say? But like, <laughs> she was like in the cute little twin pottery yeah, barn bed. Yeah. And so we got her, a, you know, a queen bed with a big headboard and repa- her room was like was still the baby color and we yeah. repainted the room and yeah. took down all the wall stuff that was, yeah. So any, any, do you guys have any go-to stores for Christmas? Like my QVC, HSN, Container Store? Oh, I have another one. Yeah. Uncommon Goods. Oh, I love Uncommon oh, that Goods. Place is That's great. so and great. Did you see? Um, I just, it, of course, comes up on my Instagram feed because I'm sure that I liked or did something that made it. That Natural Life, they have a catalog too, that. but they have these. It's like a kind of like a really crafty kind of. I think I just discovered this place. Actually, right, it's really yeah. cute stuff. Like it's quirky. Like they have clothes and stuff, but then they have like really cute mugs, and it's kind of like Uncommon Goods. Oh, okay. And I do love Uncommon Me Goods. Too. Um, I love the f bomb book they have um f-bomb bookends there's an f and oh, then yeah, a bomb yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's awesome so yeah. yeah i I've love that. that and then i mean just like all these silly things i got my aunt one year the pistachio tray from yeah. there uh-huh. um, i got out of this year the book of hysterical exams so like the ridiculous oh, yeah. answers kids give on like exams and so um, it's like the front of it has yeah, an yeah. f with a circle around it <laughs> And I was like, she, she'll she get a big kick out of it. Totally. That. Well, they have that natural life has these beautiful blankets that, or they could be tapestries that you hang on a wall or a blanket. Mm. Um, and it has like tassels on the end, really cute, but it's like really positive things. So it's really good for teen girl. Huh. Like it'll have like, you know, you are, you are enough. You are this, you are that. And they're, but they're beautiful. They're mm. kind of very bohemian looking. That's cool. Uh, so natural yes. life, natural life. I've never it's heard like of that. Adorable like bracelets we, for like girls to give to each other that are like nine bucks. Yeah. Yes. That's great. Really, really cute, cute have, like, things. Positive have my things. Very positive. Whatever. It's really yeah. positive. Um, and it's very crafty kind of looking. Yeah. And yeah, they're really very cute. bohemian. The whole like everything there everything. is. It's cute, actually. It's really, it's really cute. cute. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. It's it does remind me. I haven't me of actually ever goods. ordered anything. I just found it. Well, but... I think I am going to because it yeah. came, of course came up on my in- just Instagram and I clicked on the shop now. <laughs> so I think I already have a cart full of stuff that I have to <laughs> back oh, geez. And revisit. <laughs> So do you guys Amazon for Christmas a lot? I do a lot of Amazon. 100, yes. Yeah, me too. Oh my God, a lot. Me too. Do you do it on Cyber Monday or Black Friday or? Some, I've actually have to say, I, I do a lot of Target too. Yeah. I um, actually already ordered stuff. Like they have so some great I. deals already. Yeah, they do. That I, I feel, feel like Black Friday is every day. Yes. Like every day I get a new thing. Like, hey, today's a Black Friday day for this. Yeah, it's true. Know, they Best started Buy it. Or for whatever. Yeah. And either like, of you shop on Black Friday? No. No, I don't That's like go my shopping. worst nightmare. Yeah. My daughter has friends who, with their moms, no, go at like five in the morning. No, and Not she was like, "Can no. we go with them this year?" And I looked at her. I was like, "If you want to go with them, you can go with them." That is my worst yeah. nightmare. Yeah, nightmare. No, Sounds shoot me terrible. dead. Stick ice picks in my eyes. Totally yeah, for this right? one. Yes, it's no, like up there with Disney that. on ice. I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> same, same. Oh <laughs> no, I couldn't do that. No, I've never shopped on Black Friday. Me neither. No, no. But I do. I already do. I mean, I already have all the Christmas jammies. But bought. I will say, actually, I saw the Target Black Friday app. Uh, ad uh-huh. and I was like ooh that that and that so like I have it where I'm going to sit in my computer yeah yes. and purchase from home yeah. on Black Friday yeah but yeah no you can move it target. into your cart and then just process just it, it sit there. on Black Friday oh, probably um, yeah. that way you don't have to do it actually on Black Friday but um, right we're having a sale at, a sale at BurtBurtBurt.com yeah, on Black Friday which is our first Black Friday sale so That's are you doing cute. Black Friday or Cyber Monday or are you doing both oh good idea probably both. Yeah. We'll probably do Black Weekend mm, Cyber Monday. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We'll probably do <laughs> Black the whole thing. Cyber. Are you going to have track Black, suits? Cyber Black Week. No, but we should. You now that should. we've just started this track suit, there's no way I could probably get in, in yeah. time. But no, we're doing. Yeah, but every, we, you have pajamas, right? What's that? Don't you have the pajamas? We do have the pajamas. Yeah. Yes. That's perfect yes. for Christmas. Totally. Um, we have everything that's not I Am the Machine, everything will be 50% off, and there'll be a new t shirt. 
Oh, cool. It comes out awesome. on that Friday too. But um, I am the machine. I don't know. We're just going to keep it the same price. No ship, free shipping. So that should be good. And I bought this shirt. Cool mom. Uh-huh. From my friend Christina P. <laughs> Very cool. Excellent Christmas gift. Uh-huh. It is. Along with my <coughs> wife at the party roller skate sweatshirt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, so Black Friday. I don't ever do Black Friday. I don't either. No. I do shopping online. Yeah, me too. <coughs> but I definitely, I've, I already have like probably three bags of stuff. Like of gifts. I don't have that much. Oh, I, I have, have so things. much. Yeah. Oh, I don't have that so much. Been buying, and then what happens though is I forget that I bought stuff. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, like I have to start. That's so funny. I actually uh, have this one thing that uh, uh, maybe it's a tradition now that I think about it. But for literally the past 15 years, I have a word doc that oh has the God. holiday wish list. And it has like every person I buy for. And then for each person, I've written down what I've bought and how much it costs. So I know exactly how much I spend <gasps> each year. You're crazy. Um, and I have their stocking stuffers and everything. You are for the crazy. And Shut up. Yeah. You do not. It's so fucking helpful. And it helps because I've been like, I can look back. Oh, yeah. Last year, I got this. Last year, I did this or whatever. That's smart. It's so awesome. That's smart. Should she yeah. send us that document? Maybe. Maybe I you should share. You. Um, who, but then I'll know what Hanukkah's you spent on, on me. there too, actually. <laughs> okay. When, who, and so it's Lily's birthday because it's at the same time. But. Um, who's the hardest person for you to shop for? Hmm, huh. Good question. Maybe my mom. Yeah. Maybe Lenore. Yeah. A woman is a bit of a hoarder. I don't want to buy her anything. Right. Right. Like that's the <laughs> problem. Just do gift cards to like restaurants. Mm, I could do that. Oh God. Here comes Bert. <laughs> You just got back yeah, from Yeah, just do gift cards to, or like Trader Joe's or like. I could do Trader Joe's. Yeah. That's kind of cool. You know, it's good. Um, I do like a lot of hand lotion and stuff like in her stocking and whatnot. And we usually buy her stuff to like, I don't know, something for her house or apartment or something to make life easier. But it's tricky for Lenore. Yeah. I find like she's really hard to buy for. I think this year, actually what we're doing, she has a ton of... um uh, they used to have like a film camera, like one of those tiny film things yeah, from like an eight you know, millimeter. Literally, Stephen was like, you know, a year old. So yeah. he's 71. So I think we're going to transfer all of that stuff for her. And surprise um, her. Yeah. Oh she God. would love so that. that. She would that. totally love that. Yeah. We um, did that so, for my parents one year yeah. for their anniversary. And we sat them down and poured them like glasses of wine and then started it. And it was like they were both like. A mess like yeah they, they, she, oh, I, she she would really been able to that. watch it in so many years yeah. Yeah. And that's a great gift that would be a great gift really yeah gift. i think she would love that well so. yesterday when i told her there was a 25 dollars barnes and noble card at bingo i thought she was <laughs> going to punch somebody out for that thing yes so that might be, yes there you go she said really i went <laughs> yes really lenore yeah. well i hope i get bingo <laughs> <laughs> like, i hope you do too lenore oh, that's hilarious <laughs> oh yeah yeah. She was pretty excited about that. <laughs> Here's I don't know. I feel like the older generation is hard to buy. Like my mom is the same thing. It's not that she's a hoarder, but what the hell do you buy? A woman who's almost 80. Yeah. She has everything so under the sun. So my mom, I get the same you know? thing every year. I get I go to like J. Jill. Mm-hmm. She loves. Oh, J. Jill's great. Uh-huh. Yeah. And she loves like their cardigans, their lightweight cardigans. And I always choose her really pretty ones. And she won't go out and spend like 90 or $100 on a nice yeah. sweater. So I always do that. And so she has like, she gets a new one every year. And then I get her a book. And then she loves C's candy. So I send her a box of C's candy. And I send a whole big box. So she has like a bunch of little things yeah. in it. That's great. Yeah. My hardest to buy for is my mother-in-law. I have a hard time buying for her. Um, I don't know why. You had like, didn't you have a really good, I remember, was it last year you had a really good one? And you were really excited about it. So then you got her in Vietnam. Yeah. I got her a beautiful, beautiful throat, like a wrap. In Vietnam. Mm. Um, no, a sweater. I bought her. You're right. I bought her a black cashmere like sweater coat that um, that I thought was so awesome. But um, she's usually her hard for me. <laughs> no, I have never seen her wear it. Uh, she did wear it right immediately after I gave it to her, but I haven't seen it again. Mm-hmm. But that's okay. Yeah. Uh, she can do with it what she will. Totally. Yeah. Um, she's my hardest. Who's your hardest to buy for? Oh, God, I'm trying to think. I guess my, my son is 16, and so it's like... I feel like it's clothes, sneakers. I mean, last year him getting a new iPhone was exciting for him, but it's just like there's no like little fun thing that he'd get super. I don't know, right? Game, mm-hmm. I guess. I don't know. Who's the easiest? Well, I used to think Sasha until she was totally disappointed last year. <laughs> 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 but if I get a guinea pig this year for her, easiest. <laughs> oh my god, mm-hmm. I am like you will have made up for it totally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. What about you? What's your easiest person? Uh. 
Um, I don't know. Maybe my kids. Yeah. Like they're fairly easy. Mine too. My kids are easy. Part. Max is hard for the stocking stuffers. Like the little stuff is hard. Yeah. But socks and underwear. Know. Yeah, they always get <laughs> that. Totally. I get that. My kids get that too. Totally. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. And an orange. I always grew up, yeah. I got an oh. orange in my socking. Oh, that's a tradition. We don't I do think that. you guys should add golf balls this year. Oh, we definitely <laughs> should add some golf balls. Totally. <laughs> totally should add golf balls. Um, what do you want for Christmas? Birkenstocks. <laughs> That I forgot. <laughs> that is literally all I want. That's it's so, so great. Sad. That is hysterical. And if they weren't so freaking expensive, I know yeah. they are. That had to be just uh, infuriating, heartbreaking, upsetting when you walk in and find another pair gone because they are expensive. I live in them too. I wear these ones almost every day. Yeah, they're just the best. They're so good shoes. for your feet. They're so they comfortable. You they can are. wear them all day. Oh my god, they love slipping them. and out of them. Mm-hmm. What do you want for Christmas, Kathy? I don't know, actually. I don't generally want a lot. But my husband actually yesterday said, I need a new wallet. Put that on my list. I ah. like, okay. Oh, that's um, a good one. Yeah. Yeah. That's I good. feel like I buy one every year. Like, yeah. I don't know what he does with his wallet in the year, but he needs a new one every year. He so. uses it. <laughs> <laughs> it's used. Um, and he's like, you're such a pain. I never know what to get for you. You never want anything. I'm like, okay. So, so what do you want? I don't know, actually. I, you know what? Actually, I do need a new black purse. Oh, Okay. The Don't. one he bought me a couple of years ago, which I wanted so badly yeah. from Verona and yeah. loved. Um, it's actually all fading. Like the color is like coming off a little bit uh-huh. and whatever. So I could use a new one. I should probably tell him that. Well, when yeah. we go shopping we'll on go a shopping spree, yeah. mm-hmm. if, you, if you eyeball one, I'll do the same thing I did then. <laughs> I just Last bought time. it. I went, oh my God, Steven, here's your Christmas gift. Right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Um, I don't know what I want for Christmas. I um. I don't want anything. Home Depot gift cards since we've just bought a house. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Right. I don't really have anything that I want like like that. Bert's hard for me to buy for too, because he buys everything he that wants, he wants. Yeah. yeah. Last year I I had some great gift ideas for him and they were great. I have nothing this year. I have no ideas. So this year I think he's gonna be my hardest. I haven't even started thinking about my mother in law. I think she's gonna be pretty hard too. Here's another thing I do Christmas is um I check out my uh, credit card rewards because a lot of my credit card rewards are redeemable for gift cards. So for teacher gifts, piano teacher, uh, tennis coaches, I just redeem my points and get all these. Obviously, they're not free, but I'm not paying out of pocket for all these gift cards. So like I just ordered like 30 Starbucks, $25 Starbucks cards Mm -hmm. because I had way more points than that. Um. So that I have those to just give to who like to yep. postman, um, yeah, all, everybody, every teacher, every coach, every post, the postman, the after school curriculum, friends, people I forget about. I, I keep to I just keep a stash. Mm-hmm. I buy Macy's, Starbucks, Amazon, and iTunes, and Barnes and Noble, and I just keep them in my drawer. And then at Christmas, I load up on them, and it saves me a lot of thought. And a lot of time because then you just kind of redeem and it shows up at your door. Yeah. Um, which is good. Another thing we do that's now become a tradition, that's a tradition in our Girl Scout troop, mm-hmm. is that we adopt a family and with the LAUSD, um, with the school district, a family that's homeless and give them their Christmas list. So we're the girls and I are working on this Christmas list now. And, you know, Isla can sometimes come across as a very self-focused child, not usually to her friends. But in our house, she can be very self-focused. And I have been so impressed this year with how important this family has been to her. She has asked me if we could give them a picture of our family. She's asked them if she could write each child a letter and wish them Merry Christmas. That's awesome. She wants she wants to meet them and I'm like, we can't do that. It's a privacy issue. That's not But they usually do follow up with a picture of the family and a note afterward. We I, we can't follow up. They we, they do. Yes, yeah. Yeah, because I've gotten that and I love it. And yeah, one time yeah. the picture was like the um we had it was a rough one the family had had, was living in a garage and it had burned down they had lost everything so we a lot of it was closed yeah and um it was a big one so i involved like a ton of families i feel like you may have donated to this one Mm -hmm. one year too maybe yeah because we were doing like microwave tv everything right but then the picture they were all wearing the clothes we bought them oh and i was like oh that's that's so great (laughs) you missed it i was talking about the lausd family we're we're talking about the holidays (laughs) <laughs> and I was talking about Isla. You haven't even been here. Isla spent 
two and a half hours last night on Amazon shopping for that family. Yeah, she was buying shit. No, she was so conscientious about making sure, because she was doing clothes for, uh, we got a big family, of family of eight. Mm. So I did the parents, and I, then each girl's getting three kids. So she made sure all three of her kids had like, an outfit that could be interchangeable so you could wear both pants with both shirts and you could dress it up, dress it down and shoes and hats and everything. She was so conscientious about it. I was really impressed with her. That's awesome. So, yeah. What's up, babe? Party at our new house tonight. Party at our new house. (laughs) We got the keys to our house last night. It's exciting. Yeah, so we're going to go see. Yay. A bunch of pizza and some wine (laughs) <laughs> are you serious? I mean, that's okay, oh, we yeah, can do we'll that. Come. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh okay. my God! This so is what life's about. Yes, that's right. This in a tracksuit. That's all you need. Did you guys see my video? I not the not one this morning, today. but I love the tracksuits. Okay. <laughs> you know, you could for his. Does he listen to your podcast? Are you kidding? No. Okay. I was gonna say because for his Christmas present, yeah, you could get him a custom tracksuit with like Bert, 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 or something on like the back or Bert like stitched that is a in good the back, idea. like velour like or velvet one yeah, and yeah. have like Bert and Stitch. That's a stitch good idea. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to get them to do? I'm trying to get them this company that's a sponsor of his called Shinesty. Do you know uh-huh. Shinesty? Mm-mm-mm. Oh my God. It's the f- most fun. It's the most fun company. They do um, wacky underwear like boxers that have like a hot dog on the <laughs> penis or a shark with an open mouth. It's uh-huh. just hysterical, which is why they partnered with Bert. Makes perfect sense. It's all very humorous. Yeah. But they do this whole line of Christmas suits, like a men's suit in Christmas fabric. Oh my gosh. So I keep trying to, and they do women's like wrap dresses, like Diane von Furstenberg looking dresses that are yes. like Christmas print. <laughs> and they have anything from like, a legit like plaid that doesn't look super crazy to you know like screen printed snowmen all over. Uh, one has like wood; it's just covered in timber. <laughs> it's just <laughs> insane. They have Hanukkah ones too. Oh my god! And I keep trying to get my family. I'm like, this is just our Christmas card. We should yes! all get a shinesty suit and and sit in our in our Your new chairs. in our new house, which is so from the seventies. Yeah. We should get our like and look like we're from the seventies and take it inside that house. I think that would be really funny. That is funny. That's awesome. Do our hair all seventies. Um you know what another thing that I do do every year for Christmas for the, I don't get them, but like my husband and my kids get them stance socks. Do you ever go to the stands? Stands, like, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have really fun. Like when my kids were younger, my they were really into Marvel and they have like all the Marvel. And then when Stranger Things came out, they had really cool Stranger Things. I mean, like they had Barb socks, you know, yeah. from season one. And now they have the office socks. Oh, no. Uh, that are hilarious. They do? They do. I have to get that for Georgia. They're she hilarious. The office. But then they also do Christmas socks every year. So I, every year, like I, I spend a ton of money on so- on stance because my husband wears stance socks to work. Like oh, the, they're because they're great socks, such good socks. Yeah, so. their sponsor Burt's too. Love them. So I uh-huh. um so I always do stance, and that's um uh, I I buy a ton. I, the teams, if you have a kid who's into sports team, they do like Christmas socks for your sports team. Do they really? They do. Rams, baby. Yeah. I have to check it out. I'm going to our one and only Rams game on Monday night after we get back from Cleveland. Uh, I'm fine. so excited. Uh, Darren and Elijah were there last night. They were? Mm-hmm. Oh. Actually, Eric and Carter drove them home. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Lucky them. I know. Did they have Bert? Did they have our tickets? Were they sitting with Eric? And- no, oh, okay. they were. Um, he was someone from work invited them and they went to this huge tailgate and then they were sitting in the bear section, actually. Oh, oops. <laughs> yeah. How did he get, how did he hook up with Eric? Well, he knew Eric was there. So he just started oh, okay. texting. They just text. Oh, got yeah. it. Got him. What else about Christmas? Anything else we can say about Christmas? Besides our favorite time? Well, it's two of our favorite time of year. Right. I still love it. I don't Yeah, just, you, if we're talking about, um, you do um, candy. I Like, I, we do a lot of cookies. Yeah. Do you do, mm-hmm. do you still do the cookies for Santa? On Christmas Eve? Yes. Yeah. And you still like fake eat them and leave carrots yes. for the reindeer and, yeah. and leave a note? Yeah. 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 So we. we still do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we have kept all the letters from Santa. They're actually yeah. at the bottom of our ornament Us box. Too. Yeah, we do too. Mm-hmm. We have all our letters. That was like actually one of the hardest things. My uh, my tree is very much a hodgepodge. Like mm-hmm. I know like there's some people who, and I don't, it's neither of you, no, but like me, no. who are crazy or like, this is my color theme yeah, and, right. and it can change every year and all that. Mine is like all crafty. I still have all the stuff that the kids made, but it's very hodgepodgey. Mm-hmm. Um, and I love that. And I only do white lights and it's just very crafty looking. But I did, growing up in Cleveland, we did used to um, thread 
popcorn and cranberries, yeah. Yeah. We did too. Okay. Yeah. which was super fun. Yeah, we um, did that too. I but, do. Yeah. I have a tradition oh. with my tree. I forgot about. Yeah. Everywhere we travel, we buy a Christmas ornament. Yeah. So I have a Christmas ornament from everywhere we we've do been. The same thing. And so our every time we pull them out, it's so cool. The kids will go, "Oh, Santa yes. Barbara! Yeah. Remember when we went to Santa Barbara? Oh, Bali! I'm so excited to put the Bali one on the tree. It's so cool." So when I was growing up, I, my tree looked similar. I think you try to like build the tree that is comfortable to you, similar. I think so. And mine was very hodgepodgey. But I remember like when my father passed away a few years ago, my mom moved into a condo. My brother, I think, took the ornaments, but there was like, that was like the stuff that I was thinking about because my parents had been living in the same house for over 30 years that I was like, my heart just was like, oh my God, the ornaments, like I'm never, my mom doesn't get a tree anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. Like I'm never going to see the tree that I grew up with because we used to go home at Christmas when my father was, until he passed away, we always went home at Christmas. I actually have some of the ornaments from I like want to go steal them from my brothers, but um, he even used to like you know, since the ornaments were all like wood and stuff back then, my brother um, used to build like model air- airplanes when he was little. So we had like the model glue and stuff. And when there was a broken ornament when he was little, he used to set up like a, a workshop where like broken <laughs> ornaments came to be repaired. How cute. And, oh, and he would repair them. And the one thing I totally remember is that we had these two wood ornaments and one was a farmer guy and he was like holding a pail and one was an Eskimo. I loved the Eskimo. But... <laughs> The Eskimo's leg fell off and something happened to the farmer. And when he took them to be repaired, the farmer also had had a pipe that came out of his mouth and the pipe was supposed to be put back in the farmer's mouth. But the Eskimo had this like big white, cause he's like this smiling, like the big white teeth. And my brother accidentally put the pipe on the Eskimo. <laughs> and it's like modeling glue like you can't pull it off like that sucker yeah, yeah, yeah. staying there yeah and i just remember like when he, i was like so upset i was like the pipe went on the farmer <laughs> not the eskimo you've ruined christmas <laughs> it's like beside myself first we get golf but balls and I, now I, this yeah. <laughs> christmas is over the farmer doesn't have his pipe anymore what's he gonna do <laughs> so i like every year there's i got older and i'd see those ornaments on the tree just i like crack up and nobody like would get it and i'd be like the eskimo has a pipe <laughs> oh god <laughs> that it was so funny like it still made me laugh but yeah so i love that look of a christmas tree i just love like the total crafty and fun but we get ornaments wherever we go too i have to find an ornament i do too it's ridiculous it makes it so meaningful it does it makes it yeah. meaningful i'd rather have that as a souvenir than yeah, some you know kitschy totally. thing that i have to dust all year long yep. i'd much rather pull it out of a box and remember yeah. my christmas ornaments growing up my dad um took such good care of it was one of the things that my mom didn't take with her and we he moved it from house to house trailer to trailer and then one day someone broke into (gasps) his house and just destroyed it just for fun just destroyed every broke everything ripped everything to shreds so we didn't have not one single ornament from my childhood what a bummer it is a bummer real bummer they also destroyed all his playboys (laughs) Oh, really? He had stacks and stacks of Playboys. He had this one like like storage building that he had all these Playboys and the Christmas ornaments in. <laughs> Angel weird. and Devil. And it's destroyed. It funny, <laughs> I feel like it's National <laughs> Geographic's Life Magazine and Playboy. Mm-hmm. That's what people keep. Like those are the collector items magazines. Yeah. 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 He had literal stacks of playboys well and so the funny thing is is so do i um like and they're not my husband's they're all mine but they're all signed to me from my time that i worked there yeah i was there for six years and so if it was like a celebrity who posed who was on the cover i had them sign the cover of the magazine because i was in publicity so i got to work with them and if it was a playmate who i was working with they're usually not on the cover they're just on the inside so they'd sign their centerfold so i was like someday i used to always say like when you know i had a son who's baby someday my poor son is going to find a box of playboys in the garage and he's going to be so tormented because he's going to open them up and they're all signed to his mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's he's going to be like, funny. what? So <laughs> it's if you like, ever... Jeannie, I love you. You're the best. Kisses. <laughs> you know, and he's going to be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's because you are a cool mom. Cool mom, right? That's why. Totally. <laughs> he hasn't found it yet, but I'm just like waiting for that day. Yeah, it's like, really funny. Why? why do you have all these? That's <laughs> <laughs> really funny. <laughs> that will be the end of his child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broken now. Totally. You have an Eskimo with a pipe. Yeah. <laughs> I have uh, hundreds and thousands of Playboy to my mom. Yeah. Well, so thanks funny. for talking That's to me funny. about all this. Aw. Yeah. I love so the I'm holidays. excited now. Yeah. I have so much to look forward to. Me too. And I'm mm-hmm. spending so much of it with the two of you. I know. It's just like yeah, right? all the parties we're going to be together. I know. Almost all of it. I can think of four mm-hmm. parties we're going to be together for. Mm-hmm. 
I'm excited. What are they? Let's well, see, Verona. Verona, my Darren's or- birthday, which is, you know, during the holidays. Yeah. yeah. Um, my ornament exchange. Uh, ornament exchange. And then we're the, we're coming on You're Christmas Eve. You're coming Christmas Eve. Eve we'll be here. And It'll a be a scarf party. If it oh, happens. it's a scarf party. It's fine. <laughs> Bring it on. And did you get my invitation for the leftover luncheon? No. Oh, when's okay. That? Every Friday after Thanksgiving, uh, well, I have in the past few years because we've not been here. Yeah. I, oh. I host a leftover luncheon. Will you just bring your leftovers? Do you have to make something different with it? No, just oh, bring just it bring and it. heat oh, it up. Because we're hosting Darren's family and I'll probably have a shitload of leftovers. Okay, so, so come mm-hmm. after the day after. I'll, I don't know why. Yeah, but- I don't shop on that day, so I'll be around. <laughs> yeah, I don't shop on that day either. <laughs> Um, Black Friday. I, I mean, if I do, it's from the comfort of my computer, but I right. for sure don't go anywhere that shopping's happening. No, no. But the leftover luncheon is kind of, forgot about that. That's a tradition too. I just haven't been able to do it for the past couple of right. years. But it's so great because you get rid of all your leftovers. Yeah. And yes, we end up having like four pans of of stuffing. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we but do. They're all different. But by the but way, all and I, make a glu- I make a really good gluten-free stuffing. That's awesome. Right. Um, it's really good. And but I my plate literally... Could just be potato stuffing and sweet potato casserole, and I'd be really happy. Oh, same like, here. I don't need anything else. I cover all of it with gravy. And yeah. be- Other than the sweet potato casserole, I leave that in a little dollop in the side, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. like my dessert. Yeah, I love that too. That's it's all like I would that eat little too. thing of corn thing at El Torito uh-huh. that tastes like dessert. Yeah, and you leave it on your plate till you're done with everything because it's so <laughs> yummy. Genie. That's what my sweet potato casserole is on my Thanksgiving plate. I just wait till I'm done, and then I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah. Oh, that's funny. All right. Well, All right. our eight or nine or ten now parties that we I have. I mean, we're just uh, expo- let's I mean, just start today. Wait, no, we are on. starting today. Today, <laughs> today's, today's the day. Perfect. We'll have a tradition every year. Let's put some lights up at the house. Totally. <laughs> I can't do anything till the day after Thanksgiving. I have an ethical problem with it myself, <sighs> but I have no problem with someone else celebrating. Don't differently. come to my daughter's room. But for me, <laughs> yeah, right. I can't do it till Thanksgiving's over because to me, Thanksgiving is a super important day. I mean, the word thanks is in the day right. and you're supposed to be grateful and I feel like it just gets completely overshadowed by Christmas totally they're, does they're, they're overshadowed and I don't like that I like mm. Thanksgiving I like them both together <laughs> <laughs> I like Thanksgiving with lights <laughs> 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 we used to sometimes put our tree up Thanksgiving night because we had Thanksgiving at lunch. Yeah, my so dad. did we. Two o'clock. It was lunch. Yeah, we were having leftovers at seven. That's what we did, and <laughs> while we decorated our Christmas tree, that's what we would decorate. That's our Christmas what we always did too. But that's not what my in-laws do. My oh. in-laws do Thanksgiving, and they do it like four thirty. Okay, and we so do I'm too. Like, we can't. And then you'd like sleep and pass out for a while. Same and nap, then and then you get up and yeah. decorate the tree. Yeah, that was what yeah. I did as a kid my oh, whole that's life. Awesome. Yeah, but you know. When you marry, things shift. Yeah. yeah. And I'm happy that they do Thanksgiving every year because I literally show up. I don't cook anything. I clean. That's because you get screwed at Christmas. I know. I do <laughs> yeah, cook a right. lot at Christmas. But, um, and I do have the leftover luncheon. That way they just clear out all their shit the next day. Oh, that's good. So, cool. All right. Well, thanks guys for talking about Yay. it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank we'll you. party on <laughs> all holiday long. <laughs>